Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use an ADF to fly to and from an NDB. It's a lot simpler than you think and I'm going to give you some tips that I learned way back when I did my IFR training that have been useful throughout my entire career of flying. So let's go. I'm Evan and I've been flying airplanes since I was 14 years old. Being a commercial pilot in the Rocky Mountains is incredible and has led me on some very wild adventures. My mission? To share with you my love for aviation, the outdoors, and all the things I've learned along the way in hopes of inspiring the next generation of adventurers and adventure-seeking pilots. If you're new to the channel, then cheers, don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, welcome aboard. Good afternoon everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use an ADF or an NDB. I get asked all the time and believe me, it is actually one of the simplest things, it just takes a little bit of practice and I'm going to give you some tips in this video to help you understand how to use it. So let's just dive right in. So first thing we're going to do is tune up an NDB. So we've got uh, Fox Creek here on 353, so we're going to switch that over to the active. And then looking at our Garmin G600 uh, primary flight display, we have obviously our display here and we're going to have to pull up that NDB pointer. So we'll go to bearing here and let's put on bearing number one and cycle through these here till we have the ADF. So here we go, ADF and our pointer has come alive and it's now pointing at that beacon which is somewhere behind us here. So it's that direction and if we want to fly to that beacon, all we have to do is turn to a heading, in this case, of basically directly north, or about uh, actually three, five, six degrees where that pointer is pointing. If we want to track outbound from that, all we have to do is turn to the tail portion here. And as long as we maintain that, uh, as long as that pointer maintains those two different bearings, then we are tracking on that radial. If it starts to drift or starts to turn, then that means that there must be some sort of wind or we haven't been tracking it properly and we're actually crossing the different radials and we're not tracking a consistent one. Now, here's a great analogy that my old flight instructor gave me about 17 years ago and it's gonna sound weird, but this is what it is. She said, the tree always falls and I'll show you what that means. So if we take a look at the bearing pointer, um, picture it like a tree. So this is the trunk and the arrow part are the branches. So it's kind of like a tree right now. It's sort of an upside down tree and it always falls because obviously the plane is always moving in this direction. So no matter what, the um, we're always going to be passing a beacon if it's tuned in, whether it's behind us or not, because the airplane only moves forward. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't fly backwards. So that beacon is always, or that uh, pointer is always either going to go this way or this way. It's either going to fall to the left or to the right. So the tree always falls. And it doesn't matter whether you are flying inbound or outbound, the tree will always fall unless you are bang on that radial and you are maintaining that radial, in which case then you would be heading in that direction of that radial and that pointer will be centered the whole time. Say for instance, as we're flying along here, um, you can already see that the pointer has uh, fallen a little bit further. The tree's fallen a little bit more, and we're now at about 350 degree uh, radial. And that's the radial we're crossing now. And that's because obviously the beacon is getting further and further behind us. Now, it takes a little bit of practice, but trust me, it is very easy to do and it almost becomes second nature. Uh, tune up some NDBs along your flight path and just practice seeing uh, how the needle responds uh, with regards to the relation of the airplane to that beacon and just practice it all the time and they're kind of getting phased out now it's rare that you see NDB approaches or even the use of NDBs they're more set up for waypoints now but still it's something important to know how to use and it's to be honest a lot of fun so hopefully this video is helpful everybody don't forget to like and subscribe and as always happy and safe flying cheers everybody